Knock knock, who's here? This guy. How's it going, dudes? Today, finally, the nightmare ending has been finished. It is, has been passed over the generations, but the first person who's gonna pass uh, the first historical moment which has been done for scrutinized, it is coming from this guy called Insim, alright? He's the guy who passed the nightmare ending, and apparently we got a special ending for nightmare ending, which is not a special anything or anything, because it is the same ending as normal ending. Congratulations, Adam, you made a great work right here. Anyway, much claps for this guy, Insim, alright, for finally finishing uh, nightmare ending. Uh, it was practically four hours of gameplay this guy is insane bro he passed over 40 nights it is 40 nights on nightmare ending and this guy beat it not many people try to beat this game same as how people used to do like uh, for finance at Predis with the uh, 20 20 20 mode what so yeah much, congr much congratulations scrutinized uh, it has been a nice game so i see you guys no, 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 hold on a minute, we still got things to say, man, to discuss. So, um, yeah, in the last video I said uh, Reflex Studios wants to drop out uh, of uh, making horror games anymore, and uh, for many of you people, you are so shocked about this, I gotta, gotta say to you, uh, Adam was, uh, was trying to think about this since 2019, he made a pool in 2019, talking about that, um, and uh, yeah, he knows very well and better that from long time that people just are not into horror games. People are not are very relaxed and in the meantime very lazy to just try to accomplish something. You know, if people want to play a horror game, they would prefer to play a campaign, which is easy to press press double V A S D and uh, you know just a walking simulator where you just encounter jump scares and horror that would be something more easy for an entire pair of these generations um, who are actually yeah very lazy and they are not gamers anymore i don't know what i'm talking about anyway he decided to make a new game and this new game is uh, actually he didn't decide this is not official but it is a pool right it is a pool and he decided to make this the, the following game the next project we, we will be the one to of the following dark net empire versus uh welcome to the game online so dark net empire is that kind of game which uh, it's not horror it's not doesn't have jump scares but you practically making a deep web business over there and uh, you're gonna encounter some enemies but they are not horror okay so welcome to the game online do you know what this means it means a lot of characters you could play with a lot of characters and actually if he's gonna make welcome to the game online um he it means that hey you could play like brief or you could play like tenor <laughs> nice i can see you very happy right now beautiful simp of tenor so um practically that would be think about dead by dead like something like this uh there could be an enemy there could be positive guys it would be something fun man i uh, the idea which he would try to do it it would be something cool so i would recommend to adam if uh, he will ever this hear this i would recommend to him to make some cool designs to the characters because that's what people are attracted to uh cool designs so people could simp over that right like it happened to tenor it is a great example uh, the game could be free to play you have just uh, a small recreation of characters but and if it's gonna be free to play you can just buy more characters with your own money right so let's say you could buy tenor if it's free to play or the game could cost it would be like ten dollars and not twenty dollars i don't know how much it could be it could be something like that and after that um, yeah you could unlock all the characters but uh, for the business i think it's better if it's gonna be a great game i think it's better to be free to play since a lot of people are gonna play that and if he's gonna work on it and update it, update it, update it, he needs, he needs to um, 
like a commitment for that. If he's gonna do that, uh, then he has to work on the game more and more and more. And people are gonna buy more characters, let's say for what, five dollars? Because <laughs> hey, let's let's just not make a rip off of that. Um, yeah. So if he's gonna wa be welcome to the game online, it's gonna be a nostalgia for you. All the characters from his series could be there and that would be very great that would be very necessary and cool right and in the meantime speaking about tenor uh he also made a new past about tenor and uh yeah there is look what you guys did tenor had to make a twitter now it's out of my hands now <laughs> just found a new place there is plenty of room for all my hobbies, why well, I might even have to space for another guilty pleasure or two. Oh, ho, ho. Tanner Doe? Tanner Doe has a Twitter now. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> you guys, you guys are incredible. Mm. Alright. So, Tanner, um, is still is always gonna be on our heart right he's gonna be forever on our hearts uh, he's a cool dude a great character though um, I don't know how popular it is right now by many people it is not that popular is it is not that popular but uh, hey that's an example for Adam bro you see, people these days are more attracted to the characters to the design of the characters the way they are uh, when we're talking about games, it is not about it is not about how the game is made. It is about the characters. They wanna feel connected to the game. So as long as uh, they obtain a crush or they find a character cutie cutie, then um, they would be more interested in the game to find out about that character, right? So um, if Tanner would had become more popular. And uh, I would have the co the rights for this, uh, f for all of this. I got all the rights and copyrights and whatever. Uh, I would had made official Tanner t-shirts. It sounds stupid, but yeah, I would have contacted Fusco, always called that company, which makes that kind of uh, uh, plushies. Yeah, I would have made plushies of Tanner and um, figurines. And posters and uh, um, pillows with tether. That would have been crazy, dude. Now imagine that. Um, but yeah, this has to be popular. So, there's not many things to say about this, but we're moving on to Tenor versus Kidnapper. Uh, we never talk about Tenor versus Kidnapper, okay? So, Tenor versus Kidnapper is. Uh, that kind of situation where you think both are in the same game and they are the only enemies which you encounter in scrutinized. Tanner is not working with the kidnapper. I, I want you to remember that. And uh, Tanner could actually be the kidnapper or not. All right, so the kidnapper would not even speak English. I must say to you that the kidnapper is actually a gangster, Russian gangster who doesn't speak English. Is not gonna and be understandable with Tanner. So imagine if just um, Adam was going to make a DLC with another ending <coughs> where he had seen an ending with the kidnapper actually punching you and uh, trying to get you and then Tanner coming to save you. That would be a uh, crazy fight bro. A crazy fight. So uh, I want you to understand that the kidnapper is actually uh, is also in the welcome to the game, right? The kidnapper is also in welcome to the game playing as a Russian. He has the same tattoo. So it is really cool to see him right here. Um, and I think that uh, the kidnapper should have been replaced with Briefer. Maybe it was better because there were a few sims over Briefer in... Uh, in uh, Welcome to the Game, Briefer should have been in in the game instead of uh, the Kidnapper because hey, it is about character, a character which people like, and yeah, I think that was a bad move to put the Kidnapper <coughs> in here, right? Mm. All right. So, what do you think is gonna win? 
um, on this fight, Tanner versus Kidnapper. I want to, I want you to write down. Um, it is brute force. There's gonna be only brute force because the Kidnapper doesn't know English. Yes. So yeah, it is gonna be a brute force. Tanner is much smaller than the Kidnapper. Kidnapper has muscles, so it's better. Mm. Yeah. All right. So. At the end of the day, I want you to know that um, Adam is moving out from Scrutinize. Maybe he's gonna make a few more updates, but uh, people are not buying the game. If you look on Steam, so Scrutinize was and trending on YouTube again by a Corey X Kenshin video, right? It was trending again. It was actually number one, I think, man, in gaming. But if you go on Steam and look on the page of, of the Steam, at the scrutinize there is around what 150 150 reviews or something positive so bro imagine how less the i cannot imagine how many people bought, bought this game and people didn't buy the game so yeah adam is just moving on to maybe creating welcome to the game but he's also gonna release rides with strangers or something in 2021 so i'm also gonna move on to i think i will just gonna make two more videos about scrutinized and the reflex studios and then move on to another content i don't know what i don't know what's gonna be my next move it is gonna be maybe about still about horror games and jump scares so yeah, hope something is gonna trend very soon. Release on or and trend in the in uh, on YouTube. So yeah, we could uh, move on to the next project, right? Scrutinize was a good game, and it's gonna be is all is always gonna be in my heart. When I'm gonna be when ten years are gonna pass, I'll still remember, bro. Dot year 2021. That e 2020. <laughs> 2020, bro. That year, it, it was great, man. It was great playing scrutinized. I'm gonna have some good memories from that. All right. Um. Uh, that that's it. I'm not gonna ramble anymore. So uh, I'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Maybe not tomorrow. Not, but uh, it will pass two days or something. Cause I'm gonna take a break. 2020 is too much for me. Oh my god, too much. <laughs>